class, this is Professor Smith. I'm going to be doing a movie on mean, median, and mode computations. In this example, a survey of nine adults were employed. Full time was taken. Here are the reported number of hours worked per week. They give us the data values. Normally, you would select the first data value, drag your mouse across. It would automatically import into the Alex calculator. To find the mean, you would select the summation button, which would add up all the data values, and then divide by the total, which was 9, and that would give you their average. Unfortunately, the summation button is not working. In part 2, it says what is the median of the data set. And there you would so sort the data value, but that button is also not working. So we're going to pivot and use Excel. I'm going to select Send Data to Excel. And when I do that, we see the data downloads to Excel. If you're using the Chrome browser, you'll see the data set there. Double click on the data set, and it opens up. If you don't have Excel, as a Sierra College student, you have the ability to download the Microsoft Office products for free. So let me open up my Sierra to show you how you would do that. I'm at the Sierra College website. I've selected my Sierra. I'm going to log in. They've asked for a new authentication process, so it's giving me my code. Once I log in, I'm going to select check my email. Select check my email. And then in the top left corner, there's a grid that's an app launcher. I'm going to select Excel and download Excel. Since I already have Excel on my computer, it might be that you have to select download or another step that I'm not able to see. When it says here, open in Excel, Instead of having the uh, online feature, you have the open the Microsoft Excel app. Yeah, that's probably what you're going to have to do. Download it. Yes. Perfect. I believe that's what's going to happen when you um, attempt to do this. You're going to see this kind of creature pop up. All right, so now that's cool. I'm glad we were able to see that. Now that I have Excel open, when I go back to the Alex document, send data, double click, and it will open up for you. The first one they ask us to find the mean. So what I'm going to do is put equals in cell A10 that's underneath all the data values. And when I hit that equals button, the function option pops up. It's defaulting to average because I've done a few examples already, but it might say sum, for example. And it'll automatically sum the values that are above 1 through 9. I'm going to clear that out, select equals again, select average. It'll default from cell A1 to A9, grabbing all the data values from A1, which is 58, all the way to A9, which is 43. It'll compute that average when I hit the enter button or the return button on the keyboard, and I have 46.7778. I'll use the draw tool to go over how we round. So they want us to round to the tenths, so I'm going to go to the hundreds place. Because seven is larger than five, or if it were equal to five, you're going to always round up. 
So you're going to round up the previous digit. How come I made the pin fatter? I don't know, that's kind of interesting. So you're going to round up that previous digit of 7 to 8. So it's going to approximately equal 46.8. I'm not sure why it's, I liked my other pen style. I don't know how to use the draw tool. So I'm sure there's a feature on here that says pen. There it is. All right. So 46.8 is going to give you the average of those data values. To find the median, we're going to sort the data. So I'll go back out to Excel and sort the data. Let's clear our drawings. Deselect the pen tool. Select the data values. On the home menu, there is a sort button. So it says sort A to Z, or there's also a filter button. So I'm going to select smallest to largest. Let's move this over just a little bit more so that you can see. So I'll select the data, and you'll see that A to Z sort button, smallest to largest. So now it's sorted the data from smallest to largest. We have an odd number of data values. There's nine of them. To find the median, that's the middle number. And what's beautiful, whenever you have an odd number of data values, you just add one. So it's nine plus one and then divide that value by 2. And you take 10 and divide it by 2. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. So it turns out to find the median, we're going to take the fifth data value. I'll go back to draw. Click on my pen. And the fifth data value is 47. And what you'll find is you have four values below 47, and then you have four values above 47, showing that it is truly the median. And that's always going to be the case when you have an odd number of data values. If you take four plus four, that's going to give you your eight, plus the median is your ninth or your odd data value. So to find the median for odd number of data values, just add 1. 9 plus 1 is 10. Divide that by 2, and that's going to give you the position of your data value. So our median is going to be 47, a little bit higher than our mean of 46.778. There's also, I'm pretty sure, a median function. When you select uh, the um, equals function, so instead of the average, we'll do the median, so I'm going to hit equal, and I'm pretty sure there's a median. And if I type MED, and then here it is, more functions. There it is, median. So there is a median function. And then now instead of defaulting, because I don't want to take the median of the average, I'm going to select cells A1 through A9, and I get the median is 47. So that's another way of finding the median, which is a little bit easier. But it's good to see the how of it uh, rather by a sorting and seeing how we got those values. So I, I actually do like that. All right, so that's how we find the median. It's 47. Back to Excel, we can see our data sorted, and we can also determine, do we see any duplication? If you have more than one data value, that means we have a mode. In this particular case, 
I don't see any duplication. They go from 30. Oh, wait a moment. I take that back. 39 does occur twice. So 39 occurs twice. Let me erase this other good stuff. So yes, 39 occurs twice. So therefore 39 is going to be the mode and I don't see any other data values that are duplicated. So we have one mode of 39. All right, stay tuned for part two when we do an example where we have an even number of data values.